from WWE to Phelan in Call of Duty. Common or uncommon, I will always be here to deliver for each and every one of you. Oh my gosh, Virginia. Now, Busta Boy 46 proudly presents another Let's Play. Like a boss! Alrighty, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are on part two. I do apologize for that. This could be huge! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are on part two. And we are continuing our road to continuing He's taking his this game. Alright, so yeah. As Ricky Steamboat damages Zabisco. And that wild attack won't find a hole. Oh, uh, the Arn. Arn Anderson here. We're continuing on here. Number two. That's right. Boom. Let's do this. Zabisco's in trouble. Tagging Dustin Rhodes. Alright, as... And he finally hits back out of As Dustin Rhodes damage our names. Wow, that DDT was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh. Oh. Double atomic drop. Oh, and Dustin Rhodes on fire here. Dustin's on fire. As Dustin Irish whip Art Anderson in the ring. Look at this, JR. WCW Tag Team titles in line with the Clash of Champions in Savannah. It's Dustin Rhodes. Ooh, and that bionic elbow. It's looking steamboat against the champions. Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco. And Dustin Rhodes in charge now. Dustin Rhodes is cleaning up on the opposition with the tag titles on the line here. Hang on, Dustin. This match is a long way from being over. Don't go yet. Referee getting Dustin back in a neutral corner. Arn wants a timeout. What? You have exceeded your limit of timeout, considering there are none, Arn. I didn't know you had timeouts in WCW. And Arn tags in Larry Zabisco. Oh, hi, Larry. I was in Bruno in Chase Stadium in 83. And now Larry's here. He makes the tag. He makes the tag. And now he's back out onto the apron. Oh, now you know that must have been a surprise. Now let's go. Bam. I do apologize if I'm not talking too much, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I've never played this before, so. Oh, yeah. And that was that. That's how they won the tag team titles. Beautiful. Alrighty, here we go. There they go, holding the tag team titles. So what's next, I wonder? I literally wonder what's next. <laughs> Tatsumi Fujinami. I don't know who he is. He quickly rose to prominence, capturing the WWE Junior Heavyweight Championship in 1978. The Junior Heavyweight Championship? Industry is undeniable. I watched Fuji wrestling uh, when I was a kid. Hideo Utami. Oh! Hideo Utami looked up to him, so... If Hideo Utami looked up to him, I've got to check him out, because... Hideo, Hideo Itami is probably one of my favorite wrestlers in NXT. 
Uh, too bad Hideo Tommy is injured or whatever. I think he's injured. So, oh well. Let's go see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. All right, we've got a fight, Ric Flair. And on top of that, Ric Flair will be going against one of the most ingenious offenses of all time. An offense that has earned Tatsubi Fujinami the nickname The Dragon. The Nature Boy certainly has his hands full here tonight. But if anyone could find a way to beat Tatsumi Fujinami here tonight in Japan, it's Ric Flair. Also, keep in mind, King, that a stipulation for this match includes that you cannot throw anyone over the top rope or you will be disqualified. You can't Did throw you anybody know? over the top rope, otherwise you'll be disqualified. <laughs> that is a weird... That is weird. What? The damage has been done. That is the weirdest oh, stipulation in Japanese wrestling. Like, that's Japanese wrestling, though. They have all oh, kinds of weird matches. Ooh, nice German suplex. Holy crap. Oh, classic right there. I love the underhook suplexes. Those are one of my favorite, favorite moves. They're pretty easy to master, too. Like, ooh, Devil May Cry just down, got done downloading. Nice. Devil May Cry 4 just got done downloading. Just got the notification. Oh, shit. Suplex City, bitch. Uh oh. That's it. He's out. Look out. He's applying pressure in all the right places. This one could be over. Look at him trying to use all the strength and power he can muster to escape him. Oh, there's the cover, JR. This could be it. Oh, oh, oh Flair's got his foot on the rope. Tied on the line. Tatsumi Fujinami thinks he's got the win. No, Flair's foot was definitely on the rope. It absolutely was. And now the Nature Boy, the dirtiest player in the game, trying to go on the kitchen. What a shot. A little shot from Fujinami. Fujinami and Flair are in the rope. They're in danger of being counted out. And the referees are reluctant to count them out. No one wants to see a count out here. And I hate those chops, but Flair is the master of delivering them. Look at this. Oh, oh. The referee. That's done. That's how he won. In 1989, Luke Williams the Bushwhackers and Rick made their final stop from wrestling around the globe to the hub of sports entertainment. There's a new tag team. They are the Bushwhackers. Just as quickly as the untamed tandem had arrived, the Bushwhackers endeared themselves to the WWE universe with their peculiar antics, trademark march, 
and talent thing that he has. Bushwhackers, they're a most As the Bushwhackers march to the WCW Super Show in Japan. Here we go. I think we're playing as the Bushwhackers. Big time tag team matchup on Oh, we're fighting Avalanche and Typhoon. I recognize Avalanche. I mean, Earthquake and Typhoon. Earthquake and Typhoon. I am so sorry, Earthquake. The mouth of the South Client earthquake attacked Andre from behind with that megaphone. As a result of that vicious attack, Andre's left knee appears to be in very bad shape. In fact, he now needs the help of crutches just to get to the ring. Yeah. Unlike oh my God. This bushwhacker they are. I I've been in the ring with him. I think his roll-on has rolled off. Jeez, look at this. Ow, ow. He bit his butt. And that's a lot of fighting to do there on Typhoon. And uh, the referee is starting to slowly lose control. Earthquake hits his own partner. Look at these bushwhackers. They are. They're idiots. Oh! Double teaming Typhoon right into Earthquake. The bushwhackers just I mean, they don't need to be concerned here about how large their, their opponents are here, do they? Very unique teamwork here between Luke and Butch. That was a nasty headbutt. Woo! Oh, oh my god. Butch's freaking. Butch's moveset's violent. Alright, time to tag in Luke. Alright, damage earthquake. Oh wow, shit. Just barrel through. Damn. I forgot. They may seem like a goofy characters, but they are powerful. And they don't back down from nobody. They are not afraid of anybody. I forgot all about that. Again, I do apologize if I'm quiet, so. As Luke, Pin Typhoon in the ring. Okay, go tag in Typhoon. He makes the tag. His chest may be black and blue after this. Well, this epic tag team matchup continues. Natural disasters against the Bushwhackers. Oh, there's another one of those classic Bushwhackers. Look at this. Stop in the feet. Right now, once again, well, the, the bushwhackers who survive have got to put them to pace, and that ain't what that, that's not what's happening right now. Look at the size of these guys. Look at Earthquake. Do you know they are? His car has stretch marks. Oh no! Look at this. He's a big man. The whole arena's shaking. Can you imagine these guys in the buffet? Oh, look out! Look out! Look out! Oh no! Let's have a seat. Have a seat and have that's a three count. That is it. Back to New Zealand they go. Look at Jimmy Hart. He's so happy. Oh, yeah. Unlike Butch and Luke, and now we are on Diesel. The king of quad tearing. Okay, every time he runs in the ring, guys, I want you to count. How many times he tears his quad? How many times do you think he's going to tear his quad? Now, I'd say that as an inside joke, but in reality, Diesel, Diesel, he's very talented, you know? He's a very talented individual. He just makes a lot of bad personal decisions. 
Um, a lot of people say he's a dick in real life, but I'd say he's okay. You know what I mean? He was an okay wrestler. Wasn't really the biggest fan. I will be the first to tell you I wasn't really the biggest fan. So. Uh-oh. So we're facing Harlem Heat. Oh, shit. Harlem Heat. Mm. Let's go. Well, he didn't expect that to happen. Let's go. We about to beat the hell out of you. Harlem Heat, one of the best tag teams in WCW. Can you imagine if the Harlem Heat was to actually come to the WWE? Like, what if the what if the fucking Harlem Heat actually came to WWE. What do you guys think? Like now, if that happened, do you think they would around. still be the great one of the greats? I mean, well, Harlem Heat see. is awesome. I enjoyed that team. They were great together. He makes the tag. All right, all right. He's able to make a tag. And now he's back out onto the apron. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Oh, that's one thing you gotta watch out for. You gotta watch out for that quickness. And his attack misses. You've got to watch that quickness of Booker T right there. Booker T is dangerous in that ring. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Stevie Ray either. But he is quick too. That motherfucker. They could kick you at any time from anywhere. Oh, those punches. This is why you gotta watch out for Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. The outsiders are very dangerous. And the emotion just comes pouring out. I was gonna say, you really gonna let me just do that all up in your face like that? He makes the tag. Why is the guy his opponent and what's he going for? Why was he looking at him? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Why was he like looking at Booker T? Oh my gosh, they are oh. looking out of hand here. Look at this. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, this Booker T. You've got to watch out for Harlem Heat. This is what you got to watch out for. Holy shit. Stevie Ray is quick too. And he's as quick as he is strong. Harlem Heat is so good together, man. I can just imagine if they actually made their debut in the WWE. Like, if they were in the WWE, I think they could last a little, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. They did great in WCW. Now, I think, uh, like I was saying in the last part, um, I think they would do really good in the WWE. I think, I mean, they did great in WCW, but I think they would do even better. And, all right, so we're going to pin... CB Ray here. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Yep. Oh, that body is taking some serious damage. Right, here we go. The shoulders are down. go. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. His partner's hurt. His partner's in bad shape. He might have... Jesus. Scott Hall! Scott Hall! 
What a choke slam that was. Will this be it? And he makes the save. Uh-oh, here we go, Razor's Edge. The Razor's Edge. Booker T just not having any of that. Ooh. Booker T's like, uh uh, ain't having that. Back between the ropes. Oh shit, here we go. Oh. You cannot be serious. All right, let's go. It is Stevie Ray after all. There, he's very resilient. Dude, run at his partner. Why are you being stupid? Why you do this? Up he goes. Wow. Go on the top rope when I don't really want you too much. your ass in the ring. And the rest starting to bring some order to this man. Oh man, that knee looked painful. He wow, that was a crazy ass knee. Alright, this is taking way longer than I want it to. There's a ton of velocity. Jesus, ref. There. Did it. Yeah, that's everything. That's all the DLC. <laughs> yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So, with that, the first part of our Let's Play is complete. Um, I will probably go back and do... Well, it's up to you guys. Um, do you want me to go back and do the Austin 316 era? If you do, just go ahead and let me know. But for now, we will end this part of the Let's Play here, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, tell a friend, share this. And leave a comment on the next Let's Play, Let's Play you want to see me do. Um, all right, note, up next we have WWE 2K15, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned for that, ladies and gents. Um, until then, this is Busted Boy 46 signing off saying game on. 
Rock out. Stay frosty. Stay real. Later, everybody.